YouTube. This is Kyle from KDevOps.com. Today we've got something a little different for you. We're going to make a DIY workbench. Uh, just a general purpose, um, cheap, easy to build workbench that's suitable for construction in an apartment setting uh, like where I am. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's uh, something I really desperately need. You know, we've got desks and tables, but nothing that's really a dedicated hard workspace where we can use solvents and you know, do some cutting and hammering without worrying about damaging those other surfaces. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, let's get started maybe by checking out the materials I'm going to use. Uh, I've chosen a really simple design where we're just going to use 2x4s uh, and plywood. So I've got eight of these 2x4s, uh, eight feet long, that I picked up. Uh, there's a lot of selection at hardware stores like Lowe's. You know, just try to pick something uh, nice and straight, not too much of a crown. And if it's going to be exposed wood, you want to make sure it looks decent. I've chosen stud wood, so it's fairly straight. It's a little bit more costly than some of the other selection they had. Um, but I really value the... Uh, the straightness of the material over the looks. So we're packing eight of these, and they were about three dollars a piece. Really, not too bad. I can't complain. And I've also picked up a sheet of plywood here, and I went with three-quarter inch because it was the thickest material they had, at least I could find yesterday. Um, surprisingly expensive, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, one sheet of plywood, and I, and I believe eight two-by-fours came to about $55. So for what we're going to get out of it, uh, I think that will be uh, very useful. And uh, a quick tip, if you are going to somewhere like Lowe's, is that they can make simple plywood cuts for you. And if you're like me and really limited on space, um, and you don't have a lot of clamping accessories and guides and things like that for your saw, uh, that's really useful. So I've had them pre-cut the sections, so I have uh, a double thickness worktop. I've got a small shelf that will go about halfway down, and then some extra material I might use for uh, backing that shelf area. So beyond that and some uh, wood screws, uh, we're ready to go. Okay, now my lovely assistant is going to help me. But not this assistant, <laughs> a different assistant, although you're very lovely. And we will get the corners down. take a little break there, eat some tacos, it was good, and I decided to uh, bang out the rest of these legs um, just because I needed to do it quick. We're, it's getting late. It's about 6 o'clock, or 5 o'clock rather, so I've been on this project for about 6 hours. I 
just snapped the drill bit off. What? Fuck. Okay folks, you saw it here, first try fit, not bad. So we're ready for the finishing step. And like I mentioned before, I'll be using uh, Danish oil. I just picked some up at uh, Lowe's. I've never used this product before, but it sounds uh, pretty simple to use. Although it has the interesting property of spontaneously combusting your rags, so be careful about that. Here's the finished product. Uh, the workbench is looking really good. The Danish oil added a really nice uh, kind of golden color to the wood and it also made it a lot nicer to the hand. Uh, it's still a nice raw surface that will uh, you know, not be slippery for when I'm working on a project, uh, but it is a lot, uh, a lot better now than it started. I went ahead and added some pegboard to the sides with uh, my most commonly used tools. It's already proved to be super convenient. I'm really enjoying these. Uh, and as you can see, it's got uh, plenty of room for you know some of the things that have been taking up storage elsewhere. And uh, just in general, I'm just really happy with the workbench. Um, I've run some electrical, uh, just a nice power strip down below with uh, surge protection and USB outlets. Super convenient. As you can see, I've been using it for a desk. Um, I just look forward to playing with this and using it for years to come. So thanks for uh, checking out the progress on the workbench. Uh, we'll catch you next time.